Hello and welcome to this video tutorial on the greatest common factor in the process of factoring an equation or mathematical statement. Before we begin by looking at our example problem, I'd like to talk about what a greatest common factor is. Well, the greatest common factor of an equation or mathematical statement is the largest factor which can be divided out of every term in the statement. For example, Let's say you are asked to determine the GCF of 8 plus 4. Well, the GCF would be 4 in this case. However, if you were asked to determine the GCF of x squared plus x, the GCF would be x. This is because in both cases, when it's 8 plus 4, 4 is the largest number that you can take out of both numbers. However, in the case of x squared plus x, the largest number or the largest thing that you can take out is actually x. So we could factor x out of that. So now this probably brings up a question of what is factoring? Factoring is the process of writing a mathematical statement in terms of factors being multiplied by each other. For example, x squared plus x could be written as x times x plus 1 because if you were to divide x squared plus x by x you would get x plus 1 as your result so you're basically writing the original statement as its greatest common factor times the result of the division of the original statement by its greatest common factor so now let's discuss our example problem, which is factor out the greatest common factor of part a, 12x to the third minus 4x squared plus 8x, and part b, 5x squared y squared minus 15xy squared plus 20x squared y. The process that I would use to solve this problem is to first determine the GCF of part a and write it in factored form and second, determine the GCF of part B and write it in factored form. For step one, we're going to determine the GCF of and factor part A. So, we'll first determine the GCF, which, if we look at all of these terms, the largest thing that can come out of all of them is 4x. So next, we're going to write it in factored form, and we're going to do this by first dividing everything by 4x. After we do this, we will see that our result is 3x squared minus x plus 2. So now, to write this in factored form, we need to multiply that result by 4 and leave it as two factors being multiplied, which would be 4x times 3x squared minus x plus 2. So now, we need to determine the GCF of and factor part B. First, we're going to look at this and determine the GCF. Well, in this case, the GCF is 5xy, because we can't take out more than an x or a y from each term, and the smallest number we have that divides over all of these numbers is 5. So now, we're going to divide everything by 5xy and then multiply that result by 5xy to get our factored form which after we've done our setup and our division will wind up with a result of xy minus 3y plus 4 so once we write this in factored form we'll have our factored form of 5xy times the uh, polynomial xy minus 3y plus 4x. Thank you for watching and I hope you enjoyed this video.